Okay, I'm on, on camera. So, uh, welcome back, and I hope you had some good coffee, and uh, hope you have some new thoughts and uh, ideas, and I will hopefully give you some inputs here, uh, too. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to present some um, work I've been doing with the TDI and uh, graphing. So, just to check how many have not any understanding or use TDI at all. Good. <laughs> no one. <laughs> so, uh, that's good because then I don't need to explain too much. So, uh, graphing, is it uh, someone who has not been doing graphing? Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? <coughs> uh, I mean uh, the mathematical theory about graphs with the uh, uh, nodes on the uh, edges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is yet another EXPath uh, package, and uh, it's available on uh, GitHub for those of you who haven't seen it already. I released this uh, firstly at the TEI uh, members conference in October. Uh, so uh, it's quite early beta stage, so uh, you will definitely be bitten some uh, no pointer exceptions uh, if you have any strange uh, TEI from uh, into here. For instance, yesterday I saw someone uh, using uh, uh, relations uh, with only active attribute and not the passive attribute which is required and that uh, yeah, didn't turn out to work. <laughs> uh, so uh, some parts uh, where I mentioned uh, the Swedish drama web uh, has been financed by the Swedish Research Council so if you know uh, about that and uh, you, you knew about TI, so uh, basically it uses modules and it's using XML schema, so uh, yeah. So what about the project uh, which gave input to this? Uh, so it's supposed to be a Swedish drama uh, encoded with TI uh, and we should develop exploration and visualization tools and uh, also have five students which I tutor every week uh, doing this encoding uh, and uh, we also try to reach a quite broad uh, target audience so uh, you have to have that in mind when you see the uh, examples So we do a baseline encoding uh, to some level what we can say this is quite objective and so on. Uh, but we also provide uh, two microphones. <laughs> provide uh, additional semantic annotation so that goes beyond the text itself. Someone's phone is interfering. Uh, so. Uh, well, what is this about then? We took the, all the printed uh, dramas, so that's stage plays, basically, uh, written uh, in Swedish between 1808 and 1900, uh, and that came down to 89 plays in all genres. And, uh, they're including children's plays and the comedies and, uh, and so on. Uh, so we also had one of those uh, thematic uh, semantic encodings uh, about text like handicraft, which was a very big sign in, in the 1880s. Uh, so. so, how do we come to the graphing? Well, we do uh, markup relations, and that's relations between persons uh, and other persons or organizations.
conversations. So uh, we also differ between cost and non-cost persons. So the cost ones uh, are the ones that are actually uttering some uh, speeches uh, on stage. Uh, and from that we do this uh, personal relations <coughs> and sociograms. So uh, here you have some uh, uh, things about it. So the personal relations are coded by hand by the students. So those are quite certain that they are correct. Uh, and every person uh, shall have at least one relation. So that's our requirement on the students. They should at least find out one relation between every person in the play. So organizations can also be part of this. And uh, we differentiate between the persons and organizations showing uh, persons with elliptic nodes and organizations uh, having rectangular nodes in the graphs. And uh, also cost persons uh, have a solid node outline and uh, non-cost persons have a dash node. So I will show you uh, some examples now. And there is also uh, three those of you who, who used the TI uh, list relation know that uh, there are three default values for type and it's personal, which means whatever uh, have to do with family life or whatever, and uh, social is about doing business and, uh, and so on, so it's not within family and so on, and other. Uh, so these are also represented by different uh, types of, of edges. Then. Uh, so uh, that's about personal relations. And uh, sociograms, uh, they are created dynamically. So basically, you can define whatever you mean with this based on an algorithm or, or you can just calculate something and produce uh, these relations uh, uh, and feed it to, to the, the function. Uh, and if you uh, put the sort key attribute to use, uh, you can also weight this. So the, uh, so the edges uh, will be thicker uh, depending on the number of, of uh, interactions. And the interaction in this case uh, in the in in the graphs I will show they are just based on on uh, uh, the number of times the two uh, persons are interacting in the play, so it's just uh, summarizing. Uh, but I mean you can definitely create uh, any any type of of, of this. Uh, so, should show you this one. <coughs> so, as you can see, this is this is an SOG then generated by the, the package. Uh, and everything seems to point to uh, one, one individual here, as you can see, uh, a very central person. Okay, so all of the relations which the students have encoded seems to indicate that Adolf, he, he is the central point in this. Uh, drum. And you can see there are some other ones being small nodes like the doctor and, uh, and so on. And you, you see the different 
types of, of, of the edges and so on. And the, <coughs> if you recall uh, what the dash timelines of the nodes and so on. Uh, but if we switch, let's see if I find the pointer. If we switch to the sociogram, where we actually measure the interaction, you can see that there is definitely not Adolf, who, who is the central uh, person here, because it's his wife, uh, Laura. And you see, she is basically interacting with all of, all of the characters in, in the play which uh, yeah, really places her in the center of all this. So, I mean, this gives you essential information about this play by doing this uh, graphic. Uh, and you can also see, I, for simplicity, I put the weight uh, as the label on the edges so you can see how many interactions that there were. So these uh, uh, graphs can be produced as SVGs or, or uh, graph ML. So you can actually take it to your favorite anal analytic tool and uh, continue working with it since after XSTB has produced them for you. Uh, and uh, let's see if I can come back. One of the no, thank you. It's good. Um, so this is one of the examples where I'm using, uh, like we had in the previous session, for those of you who have uh, heard about the dependencies and so on. So these dependencies are uh, handled by Maven for for me because these are Java libraries. Uh, so I, it uses Young2 for for. Uh, all of the graphing, so it, it can definitely be uh, used as a dependency for other apps. You can continue building on the functionality with the graphing there. Uh, and for the SVGs, we, we use uh, Batik, which is also uh, available uh, as an extension, uh, but uh, it's used with Maven here for, for the dependency management. So it's not using the uh, Batik, which you, if you uh, uh, enable the, the extension. And if you have found it on, on GitHub, you can see there is a user example uh, in the readme. I can show you uh, it quickly, because there is still some uh, time. So uh, basically, you can just paste this into Excite uh, if you have installed this, uh, and uh, you will see uh, things happening. But uh, uh, it's of course best if you use your own uh, TI documents and uh, to do something with that. 
So you can see what the functions are. You have the relation graph and it takes the persons and the <coughs> uh, And uh, you can also provide it with the configuration so that you can define different stuff. Otherwise, it just uses the default values. Uh, and as you can see, we immediately uh, uh, use it here, takes out the list persons available in this document and, uh, uh, and the relations. So uh, I think this uh, was an experiment both for uh, doing visualizations and actually adding uh, information to the project. And also for me, it was the experimentation with handling the dependencies for uh, EXPath uh, apps, Java library dependencies. Uh, and it turned out quite well in, in both cases because, as you saw, uh, the researchers were very happy when they could actually see that Laura was uh, the, the real center of this rather than uh, uh, her husband. Okay, so uh, uh, if you have any questions, you can please check out. Well, I can understand that this is actually quite important information, for instance, for play directors. Is it, is it yes. used? Is this, this being used at the moment? Uh, yes, we are uh, using it currently in the research project, uh, which will go on for this year. And we also applied for another extension, so hopefully we'll get some more. But we also have workshops on this, so we have researchers in those fields which I showed, so we have some uh, uh, working with the child's, uh, child's play, and uh, we're also doing experiments with other thematic uh, encoding, for instance, uh, food and drink and uh, stuff like that, rather than just the relations between persons. And then you can actually also see the social interaction in in the uh, dinner situation or whatever. So yes. it's, uh, it's very good for different kinds of research. Mm. Yes. <coughs> is or can be on public repo, exist public repo? Yes or can be? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, I think I put <coughs> one in the public repo. Uh, it is easy to... Yeah. Absolutely. But I just wanted to give you an extra uh, introduction here so that you actually know it's here and that you can do it. And that it's actually uh, built around uh, Yung 2, so you can uh, definitely use a lot of complex uh, graphing functionality. Did, did you ever try to find the other types of XML that might have related content to them? Uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. So this was just uh, the need of, of, of the project. I mean, since we produce these uh, TDI documents, uh, but, but as you see, basically, you could just uh, feed anything in here. You can calculate anything uh, for, for the relations and, uh, and so on. So, uh, uh, yes. The thought is that it should be quite generic. Uh, I just wanted to have one first use case which were funded by, by this project. So. Okay, thank you very much.